friend you are. Let me guess. Henry. Horrid Henry. Yes, but you're not... I'm not your Miss Battleaxe, no. But I am Miss Battleaxe. I am Boudicca's twin sister. That's why the picture was there, Henry. What do you mean? The picture when you thought old Battleaxe was talking to you. It was her twin sister. Oh, yeah. Still weird, though. Yeah, still weird, Henry. Anyway, where was I? Yeah, we're going to tell me how you ended up holding hands with a bogey brain girl. Yeah, so anyhow, she said she wasn't going to punish us. Our own Miss Battleaxe would do that. Cool. Well, uh, not cool. No. But anyway, that's not what we were worried about. We needed to find a way to get out. And it seemed like the only way we were going to get out was to dress like girls. <laughs> it's not funny. Yet it is. <laughs> and watch out for those girls. They bite. Thanks. I'll go first. Good luck. So, not holding hands yet then, Henry? No. You know what happened next. <laughs> did that, Henry. Margaret wanted to go back for a fluffy fair. No, it was too dangerous. Looks like that's our only way out. If we're quick, we might just make it. Wait. <laughs> What happened next, Henry? That's when Bogey Brain turned to me and said, Ready, Beetle Breath? And I said, Ready as I'll ever be, Bogey Brain. <laughs> it's really romantical, Henry. No, it's not. How did it feel, Henry? How did what feel? Holding hands with a bogey brain girl. Well, like holding hands with a bogey brain girl, I guess. Anyway, now you know what happened. Yep, uh, now we know what happened. What do you mean, we? You mean you and me, right? Well, you and me and everyone out there. Saw you on the show. 
They want to pay you £250 to do an advert for them. £250? Yes! Hear that, Moody Margaret! I'm going to be a star! Perfume, please. And try this one. It's our anniversary present to you. Oh, well, thank you, boys. How thoughtful. Hmm, it's very nice. It smells like autumn leaves. Let's hope they don't fall off the trees, eh? I'll wear this tonight. See my aftershave. Mm, that smells good. I'll try some of that. Today? Oh, I'd forgotten all about it. Henry, listen. You need to fill the bath. 
then fill saucepans, um, water jugs and uh, everything else you can find. And hurry! And take Peter his ice cream. your taps are all turned off. Oh, great! Someone else telling me what to do. What? Anything else you want? Hot water bottle? Nice fluffy blanket? Um, no thanks. Uh, have a nice day. Have a nice day? Oh, yeah! I'll put it on the list. Hey! Hear that? Silence! One's yelling at me to do something. At last! <laughs> oh, Henry, I feel absolutely awful. I'm going to bed. Sick too, and I had to get her juice. And Peter wanted ice cream, and, and Miss Ombob phoned, and the waterman came, and I had to fill everything. And then. Oh! <laughs> and nobody turned off the taps, and, and now I'm soaked and cold, and. What's <laughs> up? And now I'm really sick, and that's not fair. I'm going to get a yo-yo of my own. And what's yours called? Oh, this one's special. This one's called a special spinner. Cool. See you tomorrow. That was really good, Henry. Yes, Henry. It's so nice to see kids playing with traditional toys instead of just listening to loud music and playing on the computer. Listen, Henry, I'm making a documentary about this and I'd like you to be in it. Really? On the TV? Yes, on the TV. And you'll be paid for your contribution too, in yo-yos. Cool. It's a deal. Oh, it's time to watch me on TV. Oh, wonder where everyone is. Hey, everyone. Time to come and watch me on TV. It's starting. This program celebrates the power of traditional toys. Toys which don't rely on big thrills from a big screen. Everyone, huh? Peter, didn't you hear me calling you? I'm on TV. Hmm? Are those my gizmos? I'm just sorting them. Really? Well, you can just stop sorting them and come downstairs right now. Where are Mum and Dad anyway? Um, I think they're in their bedroom. Well, they should be in the sitting room watching me on TV. Mom? Dad? <sighs> oh, uh, sorry, Henry. Didn't you hear me calling you? Uh, no, the uh, music was too loud. And I was, um, 
reading the latest Gross Class Zero comic. They're really good, Henry. Yeah, I know. Now, are you going to come and watch me on TV or not? In a minute. I just want to finish this story. <laughs> Parents. And so we can see from this fine young performer that traditional toys can bring the same pleasure as computer games, comics and loud music. And in some cases, may even replace them. Well done, Henry. I knew it was worth depriving you of those things for a while. Henry? Henry, why did you take Margaret's mobile mirror? I didn't take it, Miss Oddbud. I didn't even borrow it. Not even accidentally. Down with Horrible Henry! Yeah, Horrible Henry! Down with Horrible Henry! Down with Horrible Henry! Down with Horrible Henry! Down with horrible Henry. Down You're going to have Henry. to stay in detention Down today, with Henry. Henry. No buts, Henry. Henry. It's for the best. <sighs> Until we can get to the bottom of all this. Do you have any idea what a day in detention is like? And we enjoyed this broadcast to bring you another broadcast. BB Silver, you've actually met the boy they're calling Horrible Henry. It's horrid, Henry! Well, I'm not really horrid. At least not in the way you think I am. Well, I've met him and all I can say is that he might seem normal and nice, but he isn't really. Normal and nice, that is. You heard it here first. Hey, Henry. Hey, Dad. Did you get your pay rise? Not this time, Henry. Something to do with someone stealing something. Actually, I couldn't quite work out what Bob was talking about. Enough is enough. Yes! I've just seen the news. Good interview, wasn't it? Not for me. Why did you get all those people to say all those bad things about me? Because they're true. But they're not true. You just think they're true. Same thing. Your truth is different to my truth, Henry. Too right. But unfortunately for you, Henry, everyone believes my truth. Now, where's my mobile? <coughs> oh, like, here it is, Margaret. You what? You had it all the time? Yeah, like, well, all the time what? <sighs> you can go now, Henry. You even go to say you're sorry? My dad says being a princess means never having to say you're sorry. Right. I'll deal with it then, shall I? Hello? Is that the editor of the Ashton Argos? Oh, Henry, you're in the paper. I know. Henry saves the day. Henry, a model pupil of Ashton Primary, saved the day when he uncovered an injustice and revealed that you can't always believe everything you read, especially when you're up against an opponent who seems dead set on destroying you no matter what. I guess it's true what they say. One man's truth is another man's lie. So go carefully today, my friend, and may the truth be with you. And is it my fault when no one knows the answer to anything? Oh, 
What's one plus one times two plus two? Where do spacemen go to the loo? Why is the sea blue? Where's my other shoe? Like, where do all the bubbles go to? Hmm. Do anteaters really only eat ants? Why does Superman show off his pants? Can animals dance? What's the capital of France? Mm, but is this yours by any chance? <laughs> uh, I don't know. Oh, we don't know, we just don't know. Ask us a question, we just don't know. We don't know, we just don't know. Wherever we go, we just don't know. Well, you get the general idea. I don't know. Not my fault. Not my fault. Oops. But not really my fault. Now! Yes! <laughs> it's so easy being me, I'm Your chip, sire. I thought you knew about food. I'm eating it mostly. Whose idea was it to make him chief chef? Fine! Oh, well, uh, it was a very good idea. Right! You could go to the swamps! But... Do you think I'm a good king? Uh, I don't know. Right, the swamps for you as well! Henry! Gods, take them away! Uh, we are the gods! Then take yourselves away! Off you go! Magnificent! Wow! This will make you invincible, Henry. Oh no! Um, um, as I was saying, my liege, um, I'm not sure it's actually going to work as you intended. Maybe we should listen to what he's got to say, Henry. You too? Right! You're going to the dungeons! <laughs> and you are banished to the swamps! What? Henry? You're a traitor! Now, off you go! Exactly. I've come to set you free. And then we have to find Margaret. Do you know where she is? Right here. What do you want? We all know Henry's gone a bit bonkers. We're going to have to do something. Like what? Like, well, I'm sure you'll think of something. Ow! Oh, King Henry, they're coming. And they don't sound very happy. <laughs> Done. I 
Who am I? You're Henry, you're at school and you're arguing with Margaret about who's the bossiest. Oh, right. Only I had this really weird dream. There were lots of... Tomato, Henry. 